More local news now. The very innovative Paso del Norte Trail project that first started back in 2017 has now been granted more state funding for its continued development. And the funds will help connect completed sections of the trail in the eastern part of El Paso County. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltazar explains. The Paso del Norte Health Foundation's ambitious 68-mile trail project continues to move forward. The project securing over $26 million in funding to connect the trail in parts of Socorro and completed sections from Favens to Tornillo. Senior Program Officer with the PDN Health Foundation, Jana Renner, explaining what will make the trail a landmark. I think the length itself is going to make it a, a unique feature and there aren't a lot of very long trail projects in Texas, um, but we also made sure when we were planning for this project that the unique characteristics of each part of the county would be incorporated into the trail. With the Playa Drain part of the trail already expanded to eight miles, Renner attributes the project's progress to infrastructure projects being more inclusive of trail projects. Renner explaining what the project's ultimate goal is. Well, what we're really interested in is making sure that the residents of El Paso County have places that they can go and walk and bike that are safe, um, that are protected from traffic, and um, so that they have alternate ways to get places as well. Renner adding these funds will help push the project halfway to the finish line. They will continue to seek more funding to complete it. Jesus Baltasar, KTSM 9 News.